It's Saturday. The weekend is here. The tough, tough, tough theme is here. It's usually a tough, tough, tough. We're going to find out just how tough, tough, tough it is. Let's do it. This is Steve. This is Solve with Steve. I'm Steve. <laughs> and uh, here's the puzzle. Uh, Juchin Bernikel is the constructor. I'm going to solve it. Here we go. Ooh, that's kind of a cool uh, left-right symmetry. Okay. Barking annoyance. Banking annoyance associated with the 20s. Oh, like $20 bills. Uh, Game of Thrones. I don't know. Game of Thrones. Maybe a camp counselor is a teen. An exam for a doctor be would be the, uh, not the LSATs, the MCATs for the doctors. LSATs for the lawyers. A way out. I don't know. Grilled corn on the cob dish is an arepa. It's not corn on the cob. Okay. Uh, red and green headwear. Red and green headwear. I don't know. Uh, ATM, oh, ATM fee. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one. All right. Concerns for manufacturers are recalls. Yep. You got to do them if you got to do them. 2024, Year of the Dragon. Oh, is uh, we have a Lunar New Year theme. It's an unusual theme on a Saturday, but hey, Lunar New Year is a special time. Uh, is that, uh, no, okay, okay. Tiny Social Climber is an ant. Arya, yeah, Arya Stone. Is that right? In the Game of Thrones. Okay. Grilled Corn on the Cobs. Uh, oh, Elote. 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 That's what it is. Uh, playground. Okay. Red and green headwear is an elf hat. <laughs> I like that. House speaker's place is on the on the, the dais. It's on the on the uh, I don't know. A stereo? Oh, like a speaker in your house. <laughs> All right. Lax hasn't. Uh, scrapes are set to twos. That's crossroads, but I'll go with it because reactor regulation comes OT. Part acquires a tannery up. This can't be good. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, Olympian Strug. Kerry Strug. Oh, I'll never forget that picture. Kerry Strug with the with the broken ankle or whatever it was. And Bella. Bella was there to save the day. Okay. Uh, the Sierra Nevada is an IPA. Lagunitas. Yeah. A long running account is a saga. A carrier of a bow and arrow would be Eros. And uh, Edna Mode is in The Incredibles. Okay. Uh, evidence of crying is a tear stain. Uh, canvas for digital art. I don't know. Uh, material for deck chairs. Is it teak? I guess you can make it out of uh, wood. Yeah, an Adirondack chair kind of thing. Rocked, so to speak. I don't know. Pentagon figures or angles or vertices or military brass. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, like some brains and pool balls. Strike? Struck? No, it was with the K. Huh. Uh, stripes? No. Um, Q on Q? No. Capital with an airport named after Chopin. He was uh, Polish, so I'll go with Warsaw. Uh, common gift during Chinese Spring Festival. I don't know. Um, some local sports associations. I don't know. Rocked. You wore that really well. You rocked it. Pen uh, Pentagon figures. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, some brains of pool ball. Oh, racked. Oh, you rack your brain. You rack the pool balls for you. Okay, good. Institution of 40 plus years, so it would have been founded in the 1980s. Or late 70s. Oh, SNL, Saturday Night Live. Yeah, many notable alums. Okay, uh, personal number, I don't know. Withdraw from, I don't know. Uh, common gift is an orange. Seems like a thing. If it's, I uh, think like a nice gift. Some local sports associations or rec leagues. Yeah. All right, and what's this? Um, withdraw from is to wean from a woman's name, a direction north. Uh, become Could become Nora. Huh, that's kind of cool. Uh, like Nora Jones. I uh, didn't come. I don't know the words of that. Da, 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 da. All right, legit is uh, is kosher. Uh, yeah, that's legit. A uh, bit of sportswear is I don't know. Uh, bull like is taurine, also a chemical found in uh, Red Bull and other drinks. Puma rival would be Nike. Uh, let's go here. Is that is that a is that a no? So you're saying there's a chance. Bad tisk. A bit of sportswear is a sneaker, a singular sneaker. Uh, blank clothing, I don't know. One born queen. Hey, that's a Gen Xer. That's me. Represent, baby. Yeah, go Gen X. Okay, just plain silly is inane. Uh, cry after emotion. I second. All right, one person makes emotion. I second. I know Mecca for sci fi. Oh, some sort of con. Uh, let's just say, say something con. I don't know. Regocon, I don't know, Legicon, one of two in a tournament, semis, two semifinals, Pentagon figure, oh, the area, if you're a uh, 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 geometry problem, you find the area of the Pentagon, uh, designer clothing, is it Megacon? Uh, let's go with Megacon, uh, smoothie berries and acai, going, uh, gongshi, I don't know, a celebratory greeting for Year of the Dragon, but it's gongshi something, um, I'm going to learn something. Okay, discuss something with is to confer with. Badly off base, I don't know. Grant temporary custody is to um, tend, mind? No, to m grant temporary, lend, I guess. You can have this for now. Yeah, that goes lend. Symbol of purity or spirituality. A, a lemon, is it? Maybe. We have the orange, why not the lemon? I don't know. Treat often written with a small wooden spoon. Uh, I don't know, Dixie Cuff has that little, uh, that little uh, flat uh, wooden 
Uh, okay, Canvas for digital art, I don't know. Crazy Horse Memorial, I don't know. What's this? Preschool Recital, our ABCs. Sister Band of Miracle Grow. Yes, this doesn't look like it's lemon. <laughs> All right, uh, Home of the Crazy Horse Memorial somewhere in South Dakota, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Man with a Manx, say, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, Sister, whoops, Sister Brand of Miracle Grow. I don't know. Treat with a small wooden spoon. I don't know. Twins or White Sox. They both. The, the, the Minneapolis or uh, or Chicago. So let's go with Central something time. Could be daylight. Uh, most baseball games in daylight time. Let's go with that. Kit Cat maybe. Uh, honors with only one U.S. president and one U.K. prime minister. It's not EGOT. Um, honors held by only one of those. I don't know. Uh, Black 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 Hills. That's in South Dakota. Let's go with that. Black Hills. Uh, Man with a Manx is a, I don't know. Sister brand of Miracle Grow is, I don't know. Uh, symbol, is it a lilac? That could be a symbol of something. Let's go with it. Oh, Scots is, uh, they do like agricultural product, Miracle Grow. and Yeah, they totally, that's, uh, that's the brand. Okay. Honors held by, uh, well, oh, PhDs. Oh, that's kind of cool. Who has a PhD? I think Woodrow Wilson, maybe. Uh, Man with a Manx and, uh, I don't know which British uh, Prime Minister, Churchill. I don't know. Uh, Man with a Manx. Cat Dad. Oh, okay, I get it. Um, treat with a small wooden spoon. Oh, gelato. Yes, they do. They put that in. Canvas for digital art. Oh, digit. Digit, as in your fingers. Good one. Good one. Okay. Gone. AWOL is badly off base. You're off base, and you shouldn't be. You're absolutely without leave. Get back. You're going to get in trouble. All right. Learning opportunity is a lesson. Uh, a positive shape like wagon wheels is Rotelli, spelled that way. Uh, Apple Pay is an e wallet. And, oh, I don't know. I'm getting uh, Kate Blanchett with a C. And loses color is pales. Yeah, okay, that doesn't look right. Gongshi Fasai. That doesn't. For some reason, that doesn't look right. But let's see. Um, are there are there F's? I'm trying, yeah, there's F's in uh, in like in Chinese. And, um, not that many, but I'm thinking if people with names like Fang and Fong and stuff. So so I'm thinking of the. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, all right. Uh, what's wrong in here? What doesn't look right? Gongshi Fasai seems like it could be right. K Blanchett, she's definitely a, K, a C, not a K. No, that's totally that's not her. Um, plus this, the C looks better than the K. Uh, Pales is loses color. All right, Black Hills is right. So I'm going. I'm thinking that this is right. This Gongshi Fasai looks right. Don't know it, but it looks it looks kosher to me. So what else uh, doesn't look right? Let's see. Uh, Megacon could be. Uh, those crossings all seem right. We have semis. We have designer clothing, Gen Xer, Acai Berry, Confer. Is there a, is there a, maybe a, it's a couple places. Is there a, a synonym for Confer? Discuss something with, no, I don't know. Uh, gone AWOL. Could it not be the gone, not be the past tense. Uh, it seems to write Lend. Uh, we have Kerry Stroh. What, what was Shepard? I, I zoomed through this part right here. Uh, Sarah Shepard wrote the Pretty Little Liars books. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, I see. Ah, I got it now. Okay, I see. Um, 2024. Playground. The theater is where you go to see a play. So that works. As a group. We have a partial there. Tear Stain. Hmm. Hmm. Looking around. Looking around. These all look good. What's ELO? Is that like the band? Oh, it is. Telephone line, I don't know that one. I'm thinking, Mr. Telephone Man, there's something wrong with my line, but that's not telephone line. Um, but definitely that, that band is ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. Uh, half a score, oh, it's 10. Oh, it's Rotelle. Do, 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 Yes, okay, so Rotelli is uh, what we normally call the pasta, which is the plural, but one of them, wait, is that right? No, it's plural. So wait, Rotelli is singular? Rotelli is plural? Ooh, is it? I don't know. I'm going to look it up. Uh, okay, and I guess since uh, today is Lunar New Year, or now is, yes, yeah, uh, Lunar New Year, so, so, Gongshi uh, Fasai, uh, everybody. Um, I probably said that, you know, close for a white guy, but probably not correctly. Um, and all the girls say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that, that it, it's an old song. Um, yeah, all right, it. Uh, all right, so Year of the Dragon. Yeah, so we have a a little a little uh, 
a little uh, 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 theme here. Not not a full theme, but a little theme there. Um, and then we get the orange is the common gift during Chinese Spring Festival, which I don't think that's the same as Lunar New Year. Um, so it's not really related. But all right, so cool. Um, that, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to look this up. And I'm going to look up Rotelle, not Rotelli. And I'm gonna look up a bunch of things. Hey, if you're new, thank you so much for joining in. Right, this is what this is what I do. Uh, Fridays and Saturdays are usually tougher, so I usually learn some new things on that. And I look around, and, I, and, I, um, and then Mondays through uh, Thursdays, and also Sunday, also Sundays through Thursdays are usually the themed puzzle. And I'll uh, I'll throw in a bonus clue in the title of the video. But this is not one of those. Um, I suppose I could try to come up with a bonus related clue for Lunar New Year. Uh, and I would say something for tech because that's cross for these. Um, it's also associated with Lunar New Year, right? I think. Now I'm now I'm not sure. Um, but I don't know. It seems there's like something. Maybe yeah, I don't know because these are clued directly as Lunar New Year. It's not like a theme where like it's wordplay. It's like hey here, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Let's let's uh let's like if you're new, uh subscribe. Right. That's, that's that's what you do, right? It's not what you do. It, it can be what you do. So if you would, I, I get the little little endorphin rush every time that number ticks. I'm sorry. I, it's just one of the little things. It keeps me going. I'm having fun with this. Uh, anyway, all right. Back to this grid here. Um, so Rotelle and Rotelli got me, got me. Uh, but I got it. It took me uh, took me some time, but I got it um, because I had to check the crossings. I thought I knew it, and the crossings half a score is not ten; it's ten because the score is the number twenty. Um, and so Rotelli and Rotelli, there's a little ambiguity with the pasta names. So I am going to learn about that ambiguity, and I'm also going to learn about Gongshi Fasai because that seems like a cool thing. <laughs> it's a cool phrase. Um, does it mean Happy New Year? Does it mean May you have? Many oranges? I don't know what it means, right? Okay, all right, so all right. I've said it now probably 10 times. I don't know what it means. Let's go here. What are we doing? We're doing uh, Rotelli and Rotelli. I'm going to search for Rotelli and see what it has to say. Rotelli, Rotella, Rotel, Rotel, Rotelli, pasta. Yeah. And you can buy it. Rotelli, 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 Rotelli. It is nowhere to say Rotelli. Apparently, I'm just full of it. <laughs> oh, it's Rotelli! It's not. Come on, man. Uh, Rotelli is a type of pasta resembling wheels and spokes. They're similar to Fiori. <laughs> a small, derived from Italian words from small wheel. Italy, they're also called Rote. In U.S., they're usually called wagon wheels. So that's Rotelli. Uh, and that's not much of a Wikipedia page. So, wait, so what's Rotelli? Is that not a thing? R O T E L L I, Rotelli pasta, and it just links to Rotelli. Apparently, it's not Rotelli at all. It was there was no ambiguity. It was called a mistake. <laughs> okay, well now I know. Maybe I'll have some pasta today. Maybe I'll have some accini di pepe uh, or gemelli. Okay, uh, pappardelle. Uh, as I as I turn into Mario here, producing pronouncing my, my Italian words with a bad accent. Rotini. Okay. Hey, it's a me, Mario. Okay. That's what are you doing? What are you? Well, that's not okay. <laughs> anyway. Oh uh, boy, 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 boy. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, uh, Gong Shi Fasai. So let's look that one up. Gong Shi Fasai. All right, here we go. Gong Shi Fa Sai. Oh, so it's three, four words. Gong Shi Fa Sai. Chinese Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year celebrates the beginning of the traditional lunisolar Chinese calendar, one of the most important ethnic groups, uh, ethnic uh, sorry, holidays. 56 ethnic groups, uh, Chinese neighbors, including Vietnamese New Year's. All right. Is that Tet? Or is Tet something else? I thought I... I'm not just... I thought Vietnamese New Year was also Tet. Yeah, it is Tet. Okay. I was right. But Tet's a big uh, big cross word. word. Um... Oh, maybe there's different Tets. So Tet just means festival. Okay. All right. Um, but back to... Um, what was it? Gong Shi Fa Sai. The story behind a greeting. It's a common saying Chinese use over the Chinese New Year. Even a toddler would say this to you when you visit a Chinese family during New Year celebrations. This is kind of cool. What is Monash University? I've never heard of you. Uh, I, I... 
Oh gosh, I didn't uh I didn't switch over. I'm sorry. Alright, and uh I really don't want to add cookies, so sorry. Sorry, but I don't want cookies. Yeah, save these. Okay. Alright, Gong Shi Fasai. Uh oh it's in Malaysia. Monash University in Malaysia. Uh wish you enlarge your wealth. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. And you get these coins that are these tokens? They're like they look kinda cool. Uh <laughs> alright. Well, all cultures celebrate the New Year. Chinese are probably one of the few that use these money-related words as their greetings. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, why do you tell these people value, value money so much? Every culture loves money. A god of fortune and worship. Okay. Huh. All right. I feel like I was teaching religion. Okay, I don't know about the direction of this. This seems like... I don't know. They were serious in that. Nothing wrong with, with uh, trying to make money. But values of the core. All right, we're not we're not going to keep reading this one. This is uh, but anyway. So Perry Gong Shi Fasai means wish you enlarge your wealth. Um, may you have a a, a wealthy New Year. Right, nothing wrong with that. Um, there are worse things to wish for. Uh, like I wish you'd become poor it would be not so nice. Wish you become uh, enlarge your wealth. So that's, you already have to have some wealth, and then it enlarges. Uh, of course, everybody's got something, right? We've got to got to figure out what. Okay, what else we got here? What, uh, anything I wanted to look up? Lilac is a symbol of purity or spirituality. I didn't know that. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, let's go back to here. Nah, here. Uh, so lilac is a symbol of purity. Lilac, lilac, symbolism. Yeah, there we go. Lilac symbolism. Lilac flower. Our beautiful, fragrant, rich history. This is my love, purity, and new beginnings. In the Petal Republic. Wow. They symbolize the joy of youth and herald the change of seasons. Okay. Um, lilac. Oh, FTD. We'll buy some flowers. The symbolic meaning of the... Here we go. Lilac flower meaning and symbolism. Danny Reese. Symbol sage. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? There's cone-shaped floral clusters making the star of the season. Well, attracting butterflies and hummingbirds. All right. Yeah, no, this is a little more literal than uh, than it is. All right. Uh, let's go to the symbol genie. What does the number 777 represent? 666 represent? All right, here we go. Beautiful, flag fragrant flower. Not flagrant flower. Uh, the flower symbolism and meanings. Here we go. They can symbolize new love, renewal, hope, and innocence. I'll remember you always. My heart aches for you. Uh, I don't want that. Okay. Gifts to express sympathy. Each flower has... Okay, this is a lot of things. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's move on to the back to the grid. And maybe one or two more. Uh, Megacon, I second. We have SNL, a Saturday Night Live. I know that one. Uh, this is just nice variety. Here we go. Uh, Elote, those are good. Uh, that's uh, that's like also called Mexican street corn in English. <laughs> Elote. Uh, Kerry Strug. What was that? 2000? No. It was earlier than that. 1988 Olympics? 1992 maybe? Maybe let's go with 1992. Alright, when was Kerry Strug? I'm thinking I'm thinking of, of uh, relating it to my life and where I was. I'm thinking I'm thinking college. Alright, I'm going to go with that. Um, and that was... Uh, yeah, U.S. Women's Gymnastics. Let's see. Carrie Strug, Olympics. When were you there? And she fell in the vault because she was injured and really should not have been. Uh, it should not have been going. Well, Carrie Strug, 1996. 1996, not uh, not 90. She performed the vault despite having injured her ankle. Yes, yes, yes. The Magnificent Seven, right? And she's retired. Of course, she's retired. And she's married to Robert Fisher. And World Championships. Oh, two-time Olympics. Okay, bronze in Barcelona in 92, and then the gold in 96. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, I was off by a year. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Uh, did I want to do one more? Mm, there's a good one. Uh, gelato with those little wooden spoons. Yeah, those are good. Maybe I'll have some gelato today in honor of the puzzle. Uh, I think we're going to call it a day. Edna Mode, uh, I think, is now cross release. Nothing wrong with it, but here, this is like the cross release corner. Right? We got uh, we got IPA, which is pretty much any beer now is, is, is a cross release. Uh, we have Saga, got the vowels. We got Arrows is real. I mean, they're all real, but uh, Edna Mode, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I do remember that scene in The Incredibles. 
or those scenes, I guess, because she's in a couple of different movies. But I don't know. She's not like an iconic character to me. But I know her name now because of Crossroads. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, oh, this one. U.S. President and one U.K. Prime Minister. I'm looking that up because it's cool. Uh, it's a nice little factoid. That is how you clue uh, some, some when you have Crossroads or when you have one of those like all consonants words. Give, a, give us a fun fact, right? Or make it a joke like ATM fee. Um, so, all right, PhDs. So we're going to look that up. U.S. Presidents with PhD and... UK Prime Minister with a PhD. That's what we're going to do. Okay, whoops. Ah, go here. I'm working on my, my window jockeying here. All right, there we go. U.S. President with a patent with a PhD. It is. Is it Woodrow Wilson? Oh, wait. In no chronological order with the highest recognized degrees by education. What? What? With doctorates, U.S. presidents ranked, but Woodrow Wilson, there we go. Woodrow Wilson earned a PhD. He was an academic uh, and then a president and not a very uh, nice person, as we're learning these days. Uh, here we go. He earned a doctorate degree from Johns Hopkins, history and political science, thorough analysis of the United States Constitution. What would he think today? Speaking of the Constitution, lots of interesting constitutional questions in the news today, right? U.S. solvers and, and non-U.S. solvers, but all right. Um, so here we go. Several have earned a law degree, including Biden, George Bush, or W. earned an MBA. All right, so but the, the S tier, only Woodrow Wilson. Now we're going to look up uh, U.K. Prime Minister with a Ph.D. Any guesses? Any guesses? I'm thinking Churchill. But I don't know that for sure. It is... Oh, Rishi Sunak. No. He has an MBA from Stanford. Huh, the U.S. guy. It is listed by education. Gordon Brown from Edinburgh. All right, is the only... I, 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 I don't know Gordon Brown. As a matter of fact, until today, I did not know. I, I do not know U.K. history. Did not know there was a prime minister named Gordon Brown. Um... John Major did not attend university after leaving secondary education. Interesting. Um, I remember he was like a man of the people, right? After uh, after Tony Blair. Am I getting that right? Um, but I didn't realize that. Maybe that's not right. I don't know. But I thought that was like the same. We need a uh, more. I don't know. All right. So whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where, where did it say that? Um and this is where where they attended Oxford, a lot of Oxford. They get other university, no university. See, see, it's tougher to be a student of UK history than US history, just because y'all have had way more uh, people in charge. You're just an older country, right? So you got to learn the kings or the monarchs, right? Willy, Willy, Harry, Steve, Harry, Dickton, Harry, three, and I forgot after that. Um, but then you also got to learn the prime ministers and the monarchs, so that's already tougher. And you have more of them just by nature of being an older country. So much respect to my friends who uh, had to learn uh, history in the U.K. Heck, respect to my kids who have to learn history in the U.S. because there's more history now, right? All right, all right. blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you're still here, God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, but it's time to begin the rest of your day. Right now is the beginning of the rest of your life. Whoa, panic. All right, I hope you've had a wonderful time watching this video. Thank you for doing it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe. Like the video. You leave a comment. Go ahead and leave a comment. I will see you tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, I'm going to have fun with that, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.